Right then, Sunday, 16th of April. Bit miserable this morning, but I think it's going to be mostly dry. We're going to Church Stretton. There's a few of us going. We're going to ride over the longer mind. Mind, I said. And then up to Dinky's Diner for some breakfast stroke dinner. And then we're going to ride back and over the other side of the mind. Up by where they do all the gliding. So I'm just going to go and meet a few people now in our new meeting place which is the Shell petrol station on Manor Way. What are we on? Quarter past eight. Right, we're going to go meet Noodles and a few others and we're also meeting my cousin Ray. He's just got his bike. He's not new to biking, he's had bikes for years but he hasn't actually had a bike for a few years so he's got himself a bike. Hopefully he's meeting us today and Ray was the original owner of my little blue NC50 my moped so he was the original owner of it. Right I've reset my pin lock on this visor on this helmet I thought I'd wear my shark helmet today so let's see how the pin lock holds up. Last few times I've used it the pin lock steamed up it don't feel cold this morning. I've got meated socks on and meated gloves. I've not bothered with meated jacket. I don't think I need it today. I've just put left the thermal liner in this transformer jacket. Right then, who we got here? How do you do? Alright then, let's go and say hello. How do you do boys? Not too bad. This is Raymond, my cousin. You're right. <laughs> How you doing brother, you right? Yeah, yeah. So is it good to be back out? How long has it been then since you've had a bike? Is it? Well, good morning. Here we are. A ride out. The motor of ride to Church Stretton Cardin Mill. Been looking forward to this for a while. Chance to get out properly, meet the lads. been promised a dry day but it's going to have to improve a bit I think anyway who cares we get what we get we're out that's all that matters I can't pick and choose these days now that caring duties to do but luckily people are willing to help so my mum's all sorted So off we go. Oh, that feels good. Happy days are here again. And the best news of the lot is that it looks like all being well. I'm going to be going on the tour to the Swiss Alps. So woohoo! If I manage to get on that, I'm really lucky because uh, I couldn't do it without all the help I've been. Uh, offered. Hopefully there'll be uh, no incidents to report today for uh, meetings with four-legged animals. The amount of abuse I've had over that bloody time, that sodding horse, surely can't happen again.
blir idiot. Ja, ni är ju väck. Hallå? Ja. Jag kan ju nu. Is that any better? I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Technology problems. Do you not hear Craig, Vic? No, I can only hear you. I can't hear anybody now at all. Can you hear me, Craig, yeah? I think he's lost you again now, Noodle. Any good now? I can hear you now. Uh huh. Right then. Yeah. Yeah. There's a petrol station right by Church Street, and anyhow, if we if we need to. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. get I'll get some when we get there. I've got half a tank, but. Yeah. We ready, boys? Yeah. Ready. Does somebody want to stay at the back of these guys in case we lose them? Yeah, go on then. Well, hopefully the rain stops soon. I'm at the... I'm at yeah. the back. Okay. Turning right. I'm at the back even though I don't know where we're going. <laughs> Turning right. <laughs> I've never done this one. <laughs> We're basically going the same route we went to that cafe the other week, noodles. Although you probably it's still don't know the route. <laughs> ah, right, I got you. Bloody weather forecast, it's supposed to be oh, dry no. today. Dull and dry it said, and sunny spells later on. It might clear up a bit. Yeah, as long as you don't really rat out, sit down with you. Nah. So does it feel good to be out, Vic? Yeah, it's pretty great. Yeah, brilliant. I was recording when I left the house and I was saying that. Oh, was you? Saying that, yeah. Well, I thought I'd do a little bit of an intro because uh, I don't get out that often, so. Yeah, I'll put that in the video for you. Alright. Uh, it's a bit of a nasty bend that is there, isn't it, that one? Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's a nightmare coming through there when I've got the caravan. Oh, but it is, yeah. Yeah. Come on, rain, do one. I know, it's just that annoying little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Just enough, just to speckle your visor. Yeah. When's Goose <laughs> coming home, is it today? Say it again. When does Goose come back? Is it today? I'd imagine it's probably tonight. Is he back at work tomorrow? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's done it before and he's been to Tenerife. He, he lands back here about three o'clock in the morning and he's back at work at six. Bloody hell. <laughs> See, bloody mad. So does your bike still feel comfortable, Vic? Yeah, great. Yeah. It suits me the best out of all the bikes I've had. Yeah. You look, you look the most comfortablest on that. Yeah, I feel it. I won't be changing again. There's just no reason to again. No. <laughs> Famous last words, I know, but I won't. <laughs> for, for another two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing else I've ridden is as comfy as this for me. You ain't rid of noodles yet. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to touch a bloody floor on noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Right, just pull over here for, wait for Mike Davis. Pulling over? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh, put it in gear. I don't think he uses that CBF very often. He's, he's looking at a tracer. Is he? Yeah. He's looking at chopping in. Uh, His other bike and that one. No, really 
I Again, thought he loved that 500. Yeah, he just said... He doesn't seem to be getting out on it. Well, he's getting out on the 500 more. Yeah. He said, but he's noticed he could do with a bit more grunt. So yeah, I think well, that's, what, I think that's why he's... Yeah, that's why he's looking at the 700. Pink house there for you, Vic. Look. Hi. Got a pink house there just for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit too remote for me, noodles out here. I was, I was on about the Wendy house in the garden. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't spot these things like you do. You've got a keen eye for things like that, you have. <laughs> the bloody trouble I'm going to have with you in Switzerland, Christ. Mind you, I've only, I've only got to share a room with you for one night, I notice. Ah, one night's all I need, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's amazing what you can do in one night. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing the operation you could have in one hour and all after. <laughs> Are you doing left? Yeah. Come anywhere near me in that way, noodles, and your knackers will make the worst decision they ever made. <laughs> now I've gone down one bar. Is it worth trying to top up or not? I'm, I'm going to top up here. This is where we're stopping. But this is where we'll be ending as well. So. I don't think I need to bother. I would probably only get about a fiver in. I thought this was the way in the garage, ain't is it? <laughs> <laughs> you dickhead. Here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, then we are ready. What did you say was the matter with Viper not coming? Uh, he said, um, his bike won't start. Is everybody on? Everybody ready? They're coming.
Yeah, they all come in. They took a yeah, they took a wrong turn. They got st they got stuck at the junction and they didn't see us straight over. Ah uh, right. Peggy <laughs> wheeling it up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Church Stratton. Up here before Noodle? No. Kept missing it, didn't I? It just wasn't quite working out, and then this time it worked out perfect. So I thought I'm definitely coming this time. <laughs> Very mad, isn't it? Well, like Eden Valley, to be fair. Yeah. Very similar. As we get to the top of here, where we get to horse territory. Ramblers Association are out. Oh, horse just ran out on me, Vic. It heard you was coming. 
<laughs> I hope that one looks... Uh, Just keep moving. That one looks mighty suspicious, bit. Uh, yeah. Like Jesus. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Noodles? That, that little one looks a bit like you. <laughs> <laughs> What are you on about? Vic looked at that <laughs> and thought it was a fully grown horse. <laughs> <laughs> he says, look at the size of that show of horse. I knew it was a bloody <laughs> mistake to come here with you lot again. <laughs> I wonder if any of the gliders are up today. Uh, bloody rain. I thought we'd seen uh, the last of that. Might be just because we were up here. Yeah. It was just by the unloading part, wasn't it, Vic, where you got um, raped by that horse. So that's a nice view in the mirror of all them bikes. Time to get ready with your brakes. Look at that for an edge. <laughs> Trouble is, you went off there, you wouldn't stop till you got to the bottom, would you? Ah. <laughs> I don't know what you're stopping involved, would you? <laughs> You'd just be looking out for the bike landing on you. <laughs> Yeah, normally we come up this lot decided to get down at this time. Ah, oh, this is that one, isn't it? That we yeah. Ready. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was just thinking if it's wet and that moss is slippy, I thought you'd only be coming up it. <clears throat> and there's a car coming. I think that car's coming up there, they're not stopped, are they? We'll have to do it one by one, getting past. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> She's having a right mode. <laughs> yeah. Well, why, well, she's probably, probably having a normal day then. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I bet your brakes are hot by the time you get to the bottom. Ah, uh, sorry. You don't want bloody brake failure coming down here, would you? Pig. Piggy okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but he's just marking the junction, and he? I just thought. Oh, of course, yeah. Think of that. <laughs> uh, nor me. <laughs> I think we've got everyone here, haven't we?
Guess I'll give you enough time for everybody to catch up. I haven't tried that new tank bag out yet. What is it, the 15 litre you got all? Hey? Is it a 15 litre? Yeah. The new one? Yeah. Yeah, I think all I did for... I took one hoodie, one pair of jeans, yeah. and just two pairs of shorts. Then I just took seven t-shirts, seven pants, seven socks. That was it. Yeah. And then just shampoo, toothbrush, toothpaste. I didn't bother yeah. to share with gel or nothing like that. I take it they'll have towels in these rooms, will they? Yeah. Yeah. Because we ain't got room to carry them. You know, I call you Noodle that much. I forget sometimes what your bloody real name is. I mean, Cock. I know it's I know it's Noodle, but you know. <laughs> you call me whatever you want, then. <laughs> as long as you're whispering it into me here. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst he's sucking his thumb. We ain't far from Vermi campsite here. From which campsite? Vermi. Not far from here. Yeah. Too far from here. Oh, come in. If we take it easy, give them a chance to... Turning left, and the diner's just here. <laughs> Lefty testy. We stopped, we stopped in here, didn't we, on the way yeah. back from one of them. But, uh, what's his name? Bike broke down, didn't he? Yeah, uh, fasty rides, isn't it? Fasty rides, isn't it? Uh, 
Dinky dinkies. Stinky dinkies. So you look dinky over there at dinkies. <laughs> he didn't hear me, did he? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't listening to him. Look at dinky at dinkies. <laughs> <laughs> Typical sort of comment you get from yeah. Noodle. Well, right then, let's have some brekkie. <laughs> right then. Where are you going? We're going up that way. Your turn. Oh, we're not going back this no. way? Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> we're going that way. <laughs> yeah, dickhead. I'll, I'll, go out, I'll go out from here. Are you, you're not coming down this way, are you? That was a nice sausage and egg bap there, motorway, thank you very much. We still got everybody. Yeah, well, everybody's through, I think. Yep. Long line behind. Where's Noodle? Is he at the back? Don't know how far back he is. Being he's not answering, I expect he is. Yeah. Your comms are coming through clear enough now, I don't know why it wasn't back yeah. there. I've, I've restarted it again. Mm. I think it's his spare cradle piggies give me. Oh, right. Remind me when we get to back to that garage, I'll give you the memory card at this camera. Yep. A lovely job there. Right, we're doing the left. Where Jester is, see him, I've only got Roy behind me now, which isn't, which isn't a good sight. <laughs> Waiting for James. So where's the Welsh in your family? Is it your dad's side? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was from Swansea. My mum was born in Wales, funny enough. Oh, was she? But her family were all from, like, Herefordshire. Ah, uh, right. Her mother had to be stopping with an auntie or something when she was born. But my dad was from Swansea, yeah. Uh, never seen this bike this dirty till today. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm uh, going to have to get on the drive this week and clean it up a bit. The problem is with these roads here, you need, it needs some torrential rain, which will wash the road. Yeah. Just yeah. these little, sh just these little showers ain't enough to clean roads like uh, this. Make it bloody worse. Yeah. Yeah, Noodles must be uh, quite far back, hadn't he? Yeah, he's well out of range, he is. Now I've definitely got the right bike for Miss Switzerland yep. uh, adventure. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to do this on the XJ, would you? No. I'm going to get this booked in at the Mart a few weeks before we go and get them to give it a good overall. Yeah, have a good overall. Then. Full service and uh, check it all over. Remember when you slid on that cattle grid oh, on, no. that, on that blade? <laughs> that was in bloody Derbyshire, that was. It was on the blade, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, I wasn't with you, but I remember watching the video. Yeah. Uh, proper arse twitchy moment, that was. <laughs> Here we go, Vic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Thank God Noodles is out of range. <laughs> oh, he's off. I you spooked him. <laughs> I, bet he's I bet he's talking now to his camera. <laughs> <laughs> Takes all your concentration, doesn't it? But he does, yeah. Talking of concentration, just imagine uh, when we're going up those passes in the Alps. Oh, yeah. That's going to take some concentration, all right, isn't it? Hairpin bend after hairpin yeah. bend, it? You can't afford to get that wrong. No, the thing is with them hairpins as well, isn't it? Because you need to swing out while you need to make sure there's nothing coming the other way. Yeah, well that's another thing, yeah. But they are designed so you've got a clear view of the corner. So you yeah. can see. This hotel we're staying at in Switzerland. Yeah. Uh, have we got, like, shops and places nearby and all that? Yeah, yeah, we've already... It's called Interlaken, the places, and we're right in the centre of it. Ah, right. Well, hopefully things won't all close up like they do in France. Nah. Bloody stupid yeah. o'clock. That was crazy in France. Yeah. Everything closed by seven o'clock. <laughs> oh, Christ, I didn't know yeah. then. Bloody hell. That's a bit... That was the biggest... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> moment I've had that was <laughs> that's the problem it is that's the problem when you've when you got to cross it yeah that's what it was I was going to cross I put the bloody wind up that did oh, I bet on if that was on video I bet it would look next to nothing you know yeah that's a problem with it yeah oh no my fuel fuel lights flashing I'm going to need fuel. It says I've got 31 miles. Just making sure we've got everybody or... Because there don't seem to be that many behind. We've, we've lost Piggy and that lot, they're right back there. Roy's gone past the junction. Can't, can't hear anyone on there. I can't hear anyone. Is there any bikes gone that way? Is there any bike is there any bikes gone that way? No. Has any bikes gone that way? No. We'll think that way. Thank you. I don't know where they'd have already gone. I told them we can't hear you. She hasn't passed any motorbikes that way. Yeah. Yeah. This has turned into Piggy's mystery tour by the looks of it. Oh, do they stop where they are, are they? Well, there's 
a bit of a gap, that's for sure. About eight of us in this group, I think. Hello? Can you hear? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? I don't know. Hello, can you hear me? Is James on his own then? Is James on his own? I thought he was with you, you lot at the back and then all of a sudden he's gone. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Do you want me to switch on the switch on that 360 app? It's only problem as well, isn't it? When you're learning as well, you're not you're not that comp. Um, what's the name? That's a bit of a dodgy junction. That is. Yeah, it's the same for a learner though, it's even more daunting, isn't it? Especially when you stop on these junctions where they're sort of tilted and up. But he's got it on his sat and we're heading straight back to the garage. Oh yeah, that's why we can't hear Noodle. We've obviously lost him. Right. Yeah. I know. I'm going to need fuel, I am. Very, very soon. I'm hoping I even make it back to the petrol station. We got everyone. Oh, I know where we are now. We're turning right. We're now about to go back up over Lungmind.
Okay then, let's wait for the others. <laughs> I went tits up, didn't it? <laughs> I couldn't hear you as soon as we left the diner. Just disappeared. Yeah, it just went straight away. We went on a pig we we're on a pig mystery tour. <laughs> That's Piggy's lot, off they go. He's got a few going with them. Right, I need to get some fuel. The way we come, so I'll do that turn into Wolverley. So will you carry straight on? Yeah, yeah. Right, let's get some fuel. See you soon, Rick. Nice to meet you, buddy. All right then, are we ready? Well, what a day we've had. Started off raining when it was meant to be dry. We went over Church Stretton, all was fine. Went for breakfast, all was fine. And then that's when it all went a bit pear-shaped. Somehow we had some confusion with markers at junctions so it was a bit of a, a tricky route on the way back um, it was through some small country lanes a bit of gravel on the road it was the intended route uh, but somehow we got split up into three different groups and I think it's because we had no back marker unfortunately Viper couldn't make it today, he had a problem with his bike, his bike wouldn't start. So obviously the back marker was a different person each time he was going to a corner. So I think nobody knew who the back marker was, who the last person was. So we got a bit split up. But we all met up in the end. Pete made it all the way from Kent, as usual, as he normally does. He camped over last night, close to Church Stretton. So he came up yesterday. And we also had uh, other visitors from the Kent area, so... And I think they're still with us at the moment. We're taking them back to the motorway, so what a, what a jaunt to come in for a day's ride. I mean, you've got, what, another three, four hours to go? Amazing. Oggy, like my little breast milk flask. He thinks I should mount it under the bike. Oggy. You need to stop taking the mickey out of me. It is a form of bullying, you know. That's goose. But good to see you, Oggy. Good to see my cousin Ray. First time out on his new bike and some of the roads we went down. All my life. We managed to get Vic out again. So he's had a full day out today on the bike. So I think he's enjoyed it. Yeah, so it's been a great day out. Whether it dried up in the end, but I enjoyed it, nice day out. It's been a long time since I've had a full day out on the bike. I've had an issue with Mikado. So what I've done is, um, Piggy's Cardo, his old Cardo packed up, and he gave me the cradle of it, what fits on the helmet, to put on this one, my spare helmet. But I seem to keep losing the microphone. So I can hear I can hear Vic and Noodle talking, but they can't hear me. I haven't had this problem before, so I think it might be the cradle. I'll have to check it out when I get back. I also wanted to test what I would get out of the bike, the fuel range. The last time we went out, I filled the bike up 
set the trip counter so just as we was coming up to the last part of the void my fuel bar flashed I'd done I was on about 100 and 148 150 mile and it was showing I think I got about 20 22 22 mile range left when you get to that last 30 miles uh, it notifies you so about 170 miles I got out of the tank it's a 21 and a half litre tank I know these cross two is going to be a little bit heavier on fuel it's a 1200 V4 I've read a few reports of people saying oh you will get 200 miles out of it but I think it's 200 miles um, probably at cruising speed obviously today everything we've done today has just been up and down the gearbox first, second, third so in that kind of riding I've got about 170 miles so I think I possibly will get about 200 miles Shiggy motorway! Oh, I'm buddy. See you later. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll use that now. Oh, buddy, I'll see you later. I'll find out which way these are going. See you later. Which way? Which way are you going? Which way will you go? Or the motorway? See you soon, buddy. Oh, bud. See you later. Have a good day, buddy. Have a good day. Yep. Oh, dear. That's it. We're back. We're done. Right, then. Until the next one. Oosh.